Hi all, uh, welcome to Cooking Around the World at the uh, Eremu Community Centre. Today we're going to be doing a, a recipe, that's a gluten free breakfast pizza it's called. Um, gluten free just meaning it doesn't have a ready pizza base. I'm actually using a, a, a thinly sliced potato for the base of this which will brown up and hopefully make nice and crispy on the bottom. Um, we just put some stuff over the top, uh, egg, cheese, whatever you'd like. As a breakfast pizza, you can chuck on whatever you like. Uh, with one point, you don't put anything too wet, any wet toppings on top like tomatoes and things, because otherwise that'll just make everything go soggy. We want a nice crispy potato base on this. Uh, for today, we're going to make one with uh, some mushrooms on it. So I'm going to just quickly brown off some mushrooms. So I've got the pan warming up over here. Chuck in a bit of oil. I'm going to put in a little bit of um, butter. The oil will stop the butter from burning. And then we can cook off our mushrooms. Excellent. We just chuck it all over there and let it do its thing. Don't want to cook them too hard because we don't want to burn them. Um, but we want them just to cook down and be nice and brown and tasty. In the meantime, we will now start with our uh, potato base. This is actually discs of potato, thinly sliced discs. Um, in French cooking, they're called galettes, a potato galette, which is a little crispy potato base made up with potato discs. Um, you can use a knife to cut them very thin. They have to be two millimetres about that, you know, not too thin, but no thicker than that, otherwise they won't cook and you'll have raw potato. So we, I'm going to use a little mandolin, set it about two mil. Being very careful not to uh, take a slice of finger, not like this isn't a, what was it, a booper TV ad where the guy actually <laughs> takes a lump of himself off. We're doing you see that? About two millimetres at the most. At the most. Otherwise, they, so they, they just won't um, cook enough. They'll be a bit raw. Okay, that'll do me for the moment. Let's not get down to the blood stage. Right, what we do, we put a little bit of oil. Olive, I'm using a nice olive oil on this. We're only doing a slow cook, so we're not going to crack the olive oil and make it toxic and nasty. And I'll just get a piece of potato and spread that oil around the pan. And then we just start layering these on top. Overlapping as we go. on the bigger ones for the outside. We'll tuck that one underneath so we the overlap there. And then around onto the inside. Once again, overlapping. Get some of the smaller ones in there. Uh, there we go. That's the shape we want to make for that. All overlapping. Then we'll put a bit of heat underneath that. Now, you don't want it too high, just check the heat, check your flame. You don't want to burn this stuff before the top is cooked. Um, and you have to have it high enough to not boil the potatoes when I'm frying underneath. That's what the oil's for, to help the potatoes fry out. And uh, what I'll do to help that along is I'll put a pan and I'll put a bit of olive oil on the bottom so it doesn't stick. Sit that on top to hold everything down a little press to push it all onto the bottom and now I'm just going to let that cook away for about five minutes or so and that should hopefully give us a nice crispy start to the to the bottom of our pizza base potato pizza base or potato galette let me get this temperature right here just keep an eye on the flame on this just to make sure it's not too high not too low I'm just starting to see a little bit of bubbling there 
And I've lured our potatoes over here. Our potato. Our mushrooms, of course. Edit. <laughs> Fine cap camera operator over here doing a wonderful job. <laughs> Her favourite part of the meal, the mushrooms. <laughs> no. <laughs> now as you'll see that the mushrooms will just start to cook down when they're when they're getting, that's actually just cooking some of the um, the moisture, some of the water out of the mushrooms. And so they'll have a little bit of uh, olive oil, a bit of butter. On the mushroom, which is nice, we'll add that to the galette of the, the potato pizza right at the end, so it doesn't add too much moisture and mush them up. I want to put a bit more heat. I want to hear a bit of sizzling. I was just starting to sizzle. Oops, a piece of potato there. there you go. Just starting to crackle there now. Get some of this stuff out of the way. Some of the bits we're going to be using to top this with, of course, firstly, we're going to put egg on top. We're going to be using some nice Parmesan cheese, grate some Parmesan over the top. Uh, one thing I've learnt from doing several runs of this so far was be careful how much you put on because it can make it just a bit over salty. I'm very, very careful now on how much salt I sprinkle over the top of this thing as we cook. Potatoes like a little bit of salt. But don't go too far because once you put the cheeses on, we have a tasty cheddar cheese grated, which I just grated myself here. And I grated myself also. <laughs> a joke, I really <laughs> some, uh, some mozzarella that uh, that's just a local brand mozzarella, home brand. And I've well, it's starting to go mushy in the pan already. That's a bit warm in here. So I've just grated that up. We'll do a bit of, bit of a sprinkle of cheeses, egg, uh, I've actually got some, you can use any herbs you want, I've got some, uh, some thyme, that's actually from our garden, and I'm actually going to use a sprinkle of um, spring onion. So, let's go cut that up finely, get in those steps, let's see the blood. You can hear the potato starting to cook now, it's going to crackle up nicely. Cut this as thin as you can. We don't want overriding the flavour. You just want a touch of the onion as we're eating. And this will go on towards the end. We've got actually two we're doing here. Let's feed all our hungry mouths. There we go. Do it. Get our griller on. Preparing the grill, um, when we get our eggs on top and our little sprinkle of palms and cheese, we'll chuck the whole pan under the grill for a few minutes just to finish cooking off the eggs from the top. And uh, they're looking good. Getting a little bit of colour under these mushrooms now, so we can't get the camera over here, but um, just getting it all happening. Get the camera there. When we started earlier, that's how we want to look. You see those potatoes are starting to brown up and go nice and crispy. That's looking good. And that one down. How are we looking over here? We're looking good here. Gonna bring the temperature up a little bit there. Okay. Go back to my battle plan, see how we're going here. Okay. We're getting ready at this stage to add some some cheese to our dish and season it. I'm not playing the game very well. Okay. 
or do we'll add some pepper. In the recipe, you'll see when you have a look at the recipe, they actually suggest you put in some chili flake if you like that sort of thing. Uh, this, you just add pepper and a pinch of salt. This pepper mix actually has a little bit of uh, chili in it already. That's a multi mix thing. Okay, we're going to add a little bit of grated tasty cheese. A little bit of mozzarella, no, just a clumping together. A little bit of mozzarella. But now we might add some of our little spring onion slices. Just a bit this one here. Mushrooms are now done to as much as I want. I'll take them away. Mozzarella for this door over here. Okay. I'm going to swap these over. This is a cast iron pan by the way. And it's a, they're, not, they're not large pans. The lo if you try this in a 28 to 30 centimetre pan, it's just going to get really difficult at the last stage of just trying to slide it out of the plate. Hopefully, all our potato slices will have, as they're cooking off, will stick together. If when you're plating it, it comes apart a little bit, eh, it's all nice and rustic. But just if you're doing it in a um, cast iron pan like this one, just be careful the handle is getting hot. This one is getting close to being ready to go. So what I'm going to do now is uh, actually might put on, let's make this a pizza. Got some nice smoked, I think it's actually triple smoked ham here. Do you like triple smoked ham, Jeff? Yep. This must be yours then, eh? <laughs> I got the shaved ham because it might be easy just to bundle it in like this. And little chooks. Oh, yum. Yum. <laughs> that is nice. Okay. Next thing we have to do here, very, very carefully. Not very easy. How many mouths do we have here to see today? Looks like I'm going hungry today. Oh. <laughs> this is a snacky thing. Yeah. Okay, let's even get three eggs on this one. Three and three. Beautiful. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Now, what I'm going to do now, my finer grater. Oh, 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 oh. You know, so at the moment, I have, I've added pepper to this, but I haven't added any salt because of that amount of um, cheese and the parmesan over the top. I found it's easier just to sprinkle a little bit of salt when it's on the table, to, in, in your own plate. Just do it to taste. Because um, the very first one I made, way, way too salty. So yes, um, sprigs of uh, thyme leaves. Put a few, don't, don't go too overboard, you don't, don't want this to take over. You just want a lovely little touch of thyme in the background. There we go. We'll cut, save a few of these slices of um, spring onion here just for a final dressing. Oh, 
you. This one's coming along. You see those potatoes starting to brown on those bits? These bits along the edge here will still be a little bit on the raw side, so we'll keep that on the heat for a while. That'll be for everyone else, Deb. This one's <laughs> going to be for us. The only thing we can do for this, if anyone wants it, you just put this on the plate. Let's put a, um, a little lemon wedge. You can just put a little sprinkle of lemon juice over the top. Yep. Try not to cut finger off here. There we go. We have lemon wedges to serve as we go. Now what I'm going to do now, see the state the, the eggs are now. You can still see a lot of the the, the, the clear the album is still clear there. Uh, what we do is we just pop it under the griller just for a few moments and just finish that off. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I can't say I think this is gonna slide apart slightly when we take it off the plate. There's a little bit of around this one here. But anyway. So if it makes a mess on the plate, we don't care. This is going to be absolutely sensational. Should do a quick flip on the screen and get the selfie as she's doing that. Deb would be great. But she's agreeing with everything. She's loving this. She's salivating over there. Under the griller. Just for a few moments, we'll get that one finished off. In the meantime. Plates here ready. The, the cheese we used to uh, grate initially. There's a little bit of uh, thyme that I've picked earlier. That can go on to that pizza there. And I think that one's almost ready for the ouch. Just putting a fingernail just to just to test that potato. Some of them are still a little bit hard there. One thing I thought the other day when the potato was still a little bit raw, I had this brilliant idea of putting a lid over it and helping to steam the potato. Don't do it. <laughs> the steam created moisture and the whole potato thing just went soggy. So just turn the heat down and just let it keep cooking for a little while. Just be patient, give it that little bit of extra time and uh, when you get a nice crispy brown base on the, on, on the bottom of this thing, you'll understand why it's absolutely sensational. I'm going to very quickly crack some eggs for this one. Sorry for my back. I always like to, when, in, when you're doing something like this, I like to crack my eggs into a little bowl or a cup first, uh, just so that if you try and crack straight into the pan, uh, shell, gunk, whatever might happen, might happen in there. This way it just makes it a little bit, you know what's going into the pan, right? Actually, this, some of these pieces are looking sensational here now. Right. Oh. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Our eggs are all now cooked. Yeah. We'll give it. Actually, where will I put it? Let it put back here. So I'm going to give it. I'm going to give it a fraction more. Those whites are still a little bit mushy under there. Just a moment more. Then we'll grate a little bit more. Um, Palm, just a fraction more parmesan over the top and then we'll be ready to plate that one. So we're going to do our eggs on this one. Wish me luck. One. Yep. Daniel. Oh, what are you doing to me? <laughs> oh, this is for the other people, Deb. <laughs> 
How's that? Full cream. <laughs> okay, we'll turn that. I'm going to turn that right down at this point. We should be just about ready here. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Here comes the fun part. Hang on, Deb, sorry. I think we're all clear. Please be good to me. Mm. Oh, oh, oh. Good job. Oh, sensational. Cast iron pan weighs a ton, by the way. Uh, okay, we'll do a little extra grating of parmesan. Voila. Gluten-free breakfast pizza. That one has um, the potato base. Uh, some tasty cheese, a little dash of mozzarella, it'll give it a bit of stringiness in there. Mozzarella is really just the theatrical cheese anyway, it's no flavour, it just goes A uh, bit of tasty cheese, bit of parmesan, eggs, uh, some ham. I said you can put on, we're going to put mushrooms on the other one. Uh, whatever you like, once you've seen how it works, and oh, nice crispy edges on this, it is sensational. I think that's just about done us, Deb. What do you reckon? Good job. Thank you very much. We'll catch you next time. Hopefully we'll have this whole routine a bit better next time and I'll bring my guitar along and we'll sing and dance and, and everything. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks all. Enjoy. Cue the music, Deb.